Hey everyone, it's Jilly. Today we'll be making some saucy pork chops. These chops are super flavorful, a bit too easy to make, but don't let that turn you off. They were incredible. So let's get started. Here I have about a pound and a half of boneless pork chops. You want to season them well to your liking, or you can follow the complete recipe I will be posting on cookedbyjulie.com. I season them with salt, pepper, chili powder, oregano, cumin, garlic powder, and onion powder. That's how I like to season them. I drizzled a little olive oil, gave them a quick toss, and then sprinkled some all-purpose flour. You don't have to completely coat them. My family would never use flour to cook pork chops, but flour does help give the chops a nice crust. So do keep that in mind if you want your chops to have a nice color. So when sauteing pork chops, I always use vegetable oil. I like to cook them on high heat for about four minutes on each side, and the pork chops will finish cooking in the tomato sauce. So about eight minutes later, you want to remove them from the skillet. Now we're going to get started on our sauce. I use the same skillet I cooked the pork chops in. It's all gravy, or shall I say saucy. All right, so I threw in some rough chopped tomatoes and shallots. You may use white onions. I actually ran out of white onions, so I used shallots instead, but completely optional. Threw in one smashed garlic clove. I cooked the veggies for about four minutes, or shall I say fruits and veggies, because tomato is considered a fruit. Poured in some wine, white wine, that's optional, and I let it reduce by half. Let this cool a bit before throwing it in my food processor, and I poured in about a quarter cup of water. You may use chicken stock if you prefer. Now when my grandmother makes pork chops in a sauce, she uses tomato sauce, spices, and veggies. That way it is delicious, but I was going for something completely different with this dish. I wanted to prepare a fresh salsa. I placed the salsa back into the skillet. If you don't like your sauce grainy, you can pass it through a sieve. You want to season this. I use some sasson, that is optional, some salt, pepper, a little bit of cumin, and garlic powder. Give everything a stir. If there are any big chunks of onions like that one that you see right there, you may remove it. I did, but not on camera. And now you want to place the pork chops back into the sauce or salsa. And you are going to cover this and let it cook for about 15 minutes or until the pork chops are completely cooked. 15 minutes later, this is what the chops look like. They were really good. I sprinkled a little bit of cilantro on top. And now when I was a kid, my grandmother would make these chops in a tomato sauce with a bunch of sliced onions and peppers. I hated onions and peppers. I'm assuming most kids do, so this is a great alternative. Actually, Julie, my kids aren't picky eaters, and even if they are, they have to eat whatever I make. Okay, I'm sorry. So I like to serve these with white rice. You may serve them over brown rice since the New Year's fast approaching and all that. So these were really juicy and saucy. They were really flavorful. So give these a try. Let me know if you do. And I want to thank you all so much for watching.